Hi, I'm Heather Telford and I have a card for you today featuring Arteza Real Brush Pens and Penny Black stamp Nature's Glory. This stamp is a gorgeous stamp and last time I showed it on my blog I just used one print but today I've um, filled the panel with a couple of stampings and done all the coloring on the stamp with the Arteza Real Brush Pens. These pens are water soluble ink in them and a real brush as the name suggests so like a paintbrush tip on them and I did a video recently reviewing these pens and just showed a little clip of all my testing of them and so I wanted to do another video showing a, a whole card technique with them and I'm using them here to ink the stamp and you can see how flexible that tip is. This is the honey colored um, pen and that tap, tip responds like a brush does so that you can really get into the shapes on the stamp which is perfect for a stamp like this that has a lot of flowers and berries and leaves all tucked in next to each other. So and, and the ink is as you can see the ink is quite intense so it's really nice for inking a stamp too. Um, and you probably saw with the um, the honey colored pen that the the bristles of the pen really do bend over but they don't lose their shape there it's a, a, a soft brush tip and it just goes back into its um, position um, so this one is crocodile green um, I've got um, those names on the screen so you can just uh, pause the video if you want to note down the names of the brush pens and I'll have them linked below also. Um, just using the tip to color in all my leaves and stems and um, yeah I'm really impressed with how I can get into the nooks and crannies with this this brush tip. Oops that is a flower not a leaf that I missed before so it was possible to easily wipe that off with my chamois and then just add the yellow that I was meant to do there. I'm adding little dots of red to all the flowers and um, and it's the same red the current current red I think it was um, that I'm using on the berries so I'm keeping my palette limited as I often do and using a, a blue to add a bit of shadow to the berries but the same blue to add a bit of shadow to the leaves so that keeps everything cohesive when I print it. Now I'm stamping, uh, like not stamping, spritzing it quite generously. That was quite a bit of water because I want all those colors to blend on the stamp and then print blended. So you can see little soft bits of red in the centers of the flowers. So that blended nicely and I really like it on the berries too. Just those little bits of blue that give you a shadow on the berries and um, it's easier to see it's three little berries beside each other because there's a shadow bes between each one. And I'm blending with water on the leaves. You don't have to do this. I just wanted the leaves to be filled in a little bit more rather than have white spaces, but that's just personal preference. And before I stamp it again, I'm totally cleaning off the stamp. That's my um, chamois. It's actually, uh, I got a car chamois and cut it up into lots of pieces so that I would have a ready supply of chamois to clean my stamps. And then I'm just rearranging the stamps so that a different part of it will stamp on my panel. Not sure if I mentioned this is hot press watercolor paper from Fabriano. And that's um, watercolor paper that I use all the time and I'm really happy with. And uh, same process as before, just adding all my little bits of red to the berries and the centers of the flowers. And I just dotted a little bit um, next to one of those petals to form a little shadow behind. And then getting all the stems and leaves inked up as well to do the same thing. Now I did another card before I started this one and I did a background first, very diluted background with these same markers well not markers pens and I just scribbled them on my glass mat 
spritz with water and then swiped the watercolor paper through them and I was going to do that for this card and then I totally forgot and started stamping so if you go to my blog you'll be able to see the other one that has the pale background but this one just has the stamping without a background but I I am going to do some background images you'll see that in a second so again just a little bit of blending with water because when I spritzed even though I spritzed very generously um, a few bits of the stamp didn't get so much water so I just added a little bit of blending with water afterwards now you can see uh, I didn't clean my stamp off after that last stamping it's still got a lot of ink on it and so what I'm doing is giving it another I gave it another spritz and then I'm just pressing the diluted ink onto my panel damping it like drying it off um, with a paper towel straight afterwards so that I get a very pale image in the background so it's almost like you're looking through these branches and seeing in the background some out of focus pale color branches of the same plant or tree so and this is a technique that I use quite often just to get the depth in the picture so you can see like even now that I've stamped that stamp a few times I still haven't re-inked it from the last um, dark image I'm still using ink that's on there and just adding water rather than ink to get those pale prints and then while there's still ink on the stamp I'm going to do my envelope because now I remember to do my envelopes I'd say a good 65% of the time so here you go again still ink on the stamp I'm looking where the most ink is just pressing that down not even hard this time because this isn't watercolor paper I don't want to soak right through and I just dab the surface um, moisture off straight away so that my envelope will dry now it's time to add a sentiment and I noticed that right in the center there that little green leaf was just a little bit dark seeing I'm going to put my sentiment there so all I had to do was add water on top not even delicately and gently as I did that first time just add water on top and dab it away with a paper towel and that dilutes that green ink and then I dried it um, off camera and I'm adding a few splatters because well I like splatters you know I like splatters and they just fill in those spaces a little and add a bit of interest and I think they're pretty to finish it off I'm using a stamp from the carefree wishes set and I chose it because the sentiment is really nice but also it fits into that space really nicely it angles down to the right so I'm inking it with this fine Claire Nocturne ink and just stamping twice although I did get a pretty good impression the first time but just stamping gently twice and there you see it I've got my panel and my envelope and I managed to get some water on my envelope and so to cover that up or to disguise it I'm adding some splatters to the envelope too so my little dots of water won't look out of place and there you have it a technique with the Arteza real brush pens and shows how nicely they work when you stamp and a gorgeous penny black floral stamp thanks for joining me check out my blog for more information and I'll see you again soon